Assalamualaikum and uh, thank you to Chairperson Miss Atia Abdul Hadi. Okay. Uh, also is a director of um, this program Bio Bio Nano Sam K two thousand twenty. Okay. Uh, to the director of CS Nano, uh, SJ Professor Dr Ni, uh, Professor. Oh, yeah. It's pointer. Professor Mustafa Samsudin, um, Dr. Juan, and also um, researchers and postgrad students. Okay. Um, in here, set it. Okay. Is it? Yeah, working that. Right. Um, hopefully, I will take uh, lesser than 20. Hopefully. Okay. So. Now is uh, my part to share, actually it's a sharing session, okay, uh, based on uh, my experience and also members working on uh, plant culture. Okay, some of you might familiar with the name, with the plant culture, some of you might not heard about plant culture, what it's all about. So my presentation will be, it's abroad from the zero to applications. Okay, so hopefully it will help you in terms of, if not understand, I mean we can have a chat after the uh, seminar, okay, because it's a very short time and there's uh, so many things to share and of course um, it's beyond my capability to explain to everybody, okay, with different backgrounds. Right, so today I'm going gonna, gonna to share um, my experience on uh, I will focus on the producing plant biomass. Okay, how we going for uh, how we can use tissue culture technique to produce biomass. Okay, so that is the first part, and the second part I will touch a bit on the applications. Is it possible what we done in the tissue culture? How how we can and uh, scale up, scaling up to buy right uh, applications. Okay, right. Um, this is uh, uh, just uh, the, the photo is a uh, part of my work. Okay, where it involves casom, uh, polygonum. Uh, anyone? Minor. Or oh, now they uh, they change to a uh, prisicaria uh, minor. Okay. But my, what we have here, uh, we bought from market, is a Viscaria odorata. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's the same genus, but different species. Okay. And also, I'll be working on the uh, producing MD2 pineapple plant as well. Okay. It's, uh, I'm not sure whether you heard about uh, MD2 pineapple. It's, uh, it's, uh, if you compare to the ordinary pineapple, it's expensive. It's a firing gate per kilo. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna touch on a bit on the what is plant propagation. Okay, because we have different background. Everybody will um, if I jump straight away into a plant environment, then people will start a lot of puzzle to be solved. Okay. Right. So um, why plant tissue culture? Because it's uh, the potential or the cell itself. We're talking about plant cell. All the single plant cell, they have capability of um, we can get full plant back from even one cell. That is unique about the plants. Okay, where if you have if you secure one cell, you can have full plant back from one cell if you know how to regenerate from uh, unicell. Okay, so it be unique. You don't have to go through the productive uh, process and so on. We can propagate plant using a vegetative method, okay? But uh, in vitro, we can manipulate plant. If you know the tree, if you know the technique, you can play around and you can um, uh, set your goal, okay? Right, so this is a system for plant as a... I can't see the... Yeah, okay. So, regenerate plant, 
right. Uh, original, original plant regeneration, I mean, you are growing a plant in vitro, Re regenerate, okay? You can start from organ, or you can start from using a cell. You can use any of plant, tissue, organs, anything from plant to initiate or to regenerate full plant. So that's a uh, unix, okay? Um, right, so there is many options that depend on your purpose. If you want to get a plant straight away, you might choose direct organogenesis. That means you are focusing on uh, organ formations, okay? If you want to have, um, you want to get an embryo straight away from cell, okay? This, this is a somatic embryo, not normal zygotic embryo. Zygotic, you mean need to have, uh, it's a fertilization between uh, female and male, ovum and sperm, and you get a zygote, okay? Uh, here, you also can induce zygote from cell. So they call it somatic zygote, okay? So the process could be uh, direct or indirect. That means you get a... Uh, somatic uh, embryo straight away or the process will involve formation of what they call it callus. Callus is an undifferentiated cell. It's just like a normal cell but they aggregate together. It's a un uh, it's a undifferentiate. Okay? When you induce PGR, when you uh, treat with PGR, you will get the organs. Okay? Right, then the process is differentiation. So, different, I mean, the cell become more uh, specialized and you have function. Okay? Right, I think, I think it's enough to cover everything. I don't know we we'll end up with one, one hour lecture. Okay? Right, so... Right, so, in vitro, so everything is control. So, why we need to control? Because for certain reason, okay, if you're interested on certain compound, for example, you want to en uh, enhance the compound, for example, or you want to go for plant uh, propagation, for example, shoot multiplication, for example, root induction, everything. So you need to have everything must be controlled. Okay, must be controlled. Okay, so there is my. There are a lot of parameters to be controlled. This is some of it, okay? Medium is uh, where you grow the plant, okay? You, you need to have a uh, food for, for plants, okay? The most popular is a uh, MS. It's the uh, most popular. If you are a beginner, you are about to start your culture, I mean, MS is a, uh, uh, normally is a uh, favorite uh, medium, okay? Everything is, um, Transparent. There's no secret about it. Okay, so uh, you can have different medium as well. You can modify the medium. Okay, based on your purpose. Okay, right. And number two, it explain. You can use any explain. You can use leaf. You can use stem. You can use roots. It's up to you. Okay, for your purpose. If you want to uh, propagate roots, concentrate on more roots. Then you you may start with roots, or you may start with leaf and induce root later on. So it can be happen in normal, normal way where you can have root from leaf, but through tissue culture process you can induce root from leaf. It's possible. Okay, and keep on going producing roots without having a other part of the plant like leaf and also stem. So you don't have to have a complete set of plants, but you can have, you can produce root. On its own, providing you are you already optimize the condition where you know what is uh, the best plant growth regulators. Okay. Okay, next one is a plant regulator. It's just chemical. It's a uh, is you can bought from uh, any company. Okay, it's available. Right, it's the most stable compared to the natural occurring hormones. Okay, so you can manipulate this PGR. Okay, for uh, organogenesis, for example, you want to produce shoot, for example, you may go for BAP, for example. It's a, just a name, okay? Uh, if you want to have a root first, then you use 
IE, for example, NE, for example, is also the chemicals. Okay. Um, and then light intensity is how you play around the light. Because why light is so important? Because you want to plant to start to initiate photosynthesis. Okay, so you then need to have a, a light. Light will control. Okay, so as you know, light intensity involves spectrum of wavelength of light. Okay, from UV and then up to long wavelength to short wavelength and different um, wavelength will, will initiate or will promote uh, whether it's organogenesis or somatic embryo organogenesis. Okay, um, and then uh, temperature. Okay, you also can play around with the temperature. Okay, if you grow a tulip, for example, might, you might need a, uh, maybe 20 degrees Celsius. So you can't have it in a normal glass, uh, glass house or greenhouse, but you can do in, in the labs because you can control the temperature. Okay. Right, so this is an example of indirect organogenesis where we induce a formation of shoot from leaf. Okay, from leaf. So why I call it indirect? Because it involves careless formations. So you can see the green one is a careless. How to show? This one. Oh, okay, this one is a careless. Okay. So you have a callus and then after that start to produce and then uh, through the uh, subculturing and then uh, uh, the cells start to differentiate become organ. Then you have a shoot. Okay. And then from there you will have one, two, three more shoots. Okay. Right. So this is a complete set. That means from the leaf you have a plant and then um, you also need to show that the plant can grow on normal pot. Okay, so if if that plant survive, that means you complete the cycle. Okay, you complete the cycle. It's possible. Okay, right. So in for certain reason, you don't have to complete the cycle. You can you may stop at any point. If you want to have a shoot, you only t intentionally to produce shoots. So you just focusing on producing shoots. You don't have to complete the cycle because your your purpose is to produce shoots. If you are producing roots, then you just focus on the roots. Okay? Right. So this is a complete cycle. Right. Um, this is an example of plant generation um, from nodal, okay, or petiole of uh, autosiphon staminis. Okay, misycochain. Okay, with white flower okay white flower colored so as you know we have white flower we have purple flowers okay so they are different because they of course uh, the purple flower that means it's a pigmentation there uh, it's produced so there might be something there the hormones or the uh, uh, second metabolite will be different to the plain one or the white what is plain is no color that means the gene is deactivate somehow it's not producing the pigment okay so this is a example how we can manipulate okay using a pgr we can manipulate in terms of shoot induction if you want to have more then you manipulate the pgr okay um, whether it's in combination or as a single okay right this is a study on uh, local pineapple. Okay. Um, so you also can produce pineapple plant through tissue culture techniques. Okay. It's possible. So for example, MD2, what we have now, MD2, it, it can be produced in vitro. You can have um, a mass production of shoot or a plant okay pineapple plant from tissue culture techniques okay just imagine if you want to have one complete plant ready in this case is pineapple it will take like uh, three months you just imagine from one plant you initiate another plant you take like two or three three months to get ready before you can it's ready for planting 
But through tissue culture, you can have, you can shorter the, the uh, phase. So you can have plant ready, not talking about hundreds, but thousands of plants ready. Okay? Right, so this is the uh, uh, optimizations. Okay, again, um, uh, plant growth regulatory is very important to uh, promote the shoot induction. Okay, we have a shoot, then we separate the plants, and then we initiate the roots, then you have a complete plant. Okay? Right, this is uh, how we start to migrate from using a semi-solid medium to liquid medium, where the purpose of having liquid is to accelerate the shoot proliferations because it's more in terms of nutrient absorption, it's more efficient in, li in uh, liquid medium than the semi-solid. So that's why uh, if you want to uh, talk about the mass production, so the liquid will be the, the best option for mediums. Okay, so this is a small scale where we move on to uh, what I call it temporary emission system. Okay, it just to, uh, this system only can accommodate to up to 200 mil. It's not that big, okay? Uh, but this is gradually scaling up. It's a progress, good, uh, show very good progress. Then we can focus on bigger bioreactor, okay? So the again, so comparison between semi-solid and liquids, okay? So clearly say that, I'm clearly shown that liquid much better. You can shorten the about the same amount of shoots, okay? in, uh, uh, I mean, reduce four weeks there, okay? Right, so this is uh, a reality in is a possible. I've been working with the uh, Asthma Agro, um, and uh, they are producing hundreds and thousands, uh, half millions of plantlets from pineapple, okay? So it proved. Okay, it's working, but uh, unfortunately, the the company is not uh, available right now. Okay, uh, they have an issue there, but this uh, uh is possible. Okay, for example, uh, just imagine if you can sell one uh, plant uh, for two ringgits. Okay, so how many there? A thousand. Okay, it's not a grass there, but it's a pineapple plant. Okay, so it's possible. Okay, so uh, they've done all the process and uh, the plant is growing, then they have uh, fruits. That means it's possible. Okay, right. And if you know your uh, second metabolite, for example, or you're interested in producing adventurous roots, okay, what we call it adventurous roots? Because the root is producing, is produced from other part of the normal is you have a plant complete set of plant and then plants start to produce shoots or roots but in this case you can induce adventurous root from x plant such as leaf <coughs> okay F using this system you can induce sh uh, root from leaf so in normal day in normal condition is not possible but you can do that, okay? Right, this is an example, Juicia uh, Gandarusa. We also, we apply for other, I mean, custom and other plant as well. If we know that of compound of interest, for example, is the anti-aging compound is present in the, in the roots, okay? Then, why don't we produce roots rather than the plants? We're just focusing on the producing roots, okay? <coughs> So we are working and uh, it's, uh, it looks as positive result. I mean, uh, it contains a lot of antioxidant compound in the roots, okay? So this is also uh, showing the, uh, how we can manipulate in terms of number of um, roots, by root biomass, by PGR. So we manipulate the PGR, it will enhance the root productions. Okay, so we have root biomass. Right, so ideally, if the process is progress, show positive progress, we can have this set of, I mean, scaling up or 
yeah, uh, producing a, uh, using a bioreactor. So it is possible, okay? Um, through our visits last uh, few years ago, they are producing roots, which is ginseng roots, in a bioreactor system. So we, if we are finalized, and uh, we can have this kind of system to produce uh, bi root biomass, okay? Okay, so starting with using a bubble balloon, bubble type, uh, bloom type bubble bioreactor. This is small scale one from one liter up to 20 liters. And if a good, then you move to the big bioreactor, one ton bioreactor. Okay, this is a one ton bioreactor. This is a, okay, uh, this is a one ton bioreactor. You just imagine you're producing only roots, okay? Right, and this is where this, when you dry it, and then you can keep it in a, a small container, okay? Right, uh, this is a, okay, we have more. Uh, maybe, you don't know, where, what we're doing in our lab. So this is a, uh, what we have in the labs, all the facilities, okay? And we also have um, a particle bombardment where we produce transgenic plant. If you know you can transform any gene into your plant, you can do it by using a nanoparticle, a no, they call it a particle bombardment apparatus. Okay, so you can modif modify the plant. Okay, for good reason. Okay, for the good reason. Okay, right. Uh, I think that's all. <laughs> uh, this is a part of our visits. Okay, to uh, uh, Malaysian uh, agency, uh, nuclear agency, and also the uh, Asma Agro working on the pineapple, right? And also, I would like to thank uh, all the plant biotech uh, members for giving us such uh, marvelous, uh, excellent work. And hopefully, we can achieve our goal and, uh, of course, I mean, share knowledge to the rest of the world. Thank you for your attention.